This is CBN News Watch. And thank you so much for joining us for CBN News Watch. It's Tuesday, November 12th. I'm Ephraim Graham. Ahead today, Israel under fire as terrorists from Gaza launch rocket attacks after Israeli strikes on Islamic Jihad leaders. We're going to hear what's happening from inside Israel. Preparing for public hearings as the Democrats' impeachment proceedings against President Donald Trump will go before the cameras tomorrow. We'll take a look at what you can expect to see. A Christian camp in Ohio destroyed by a fire. We're going to hear from a pastor connected with the camp who says God has a plan for us. And the American Bible Society giving away thousands of Bibles to Kanye West fans who want to know more about Christianity after his conversion. All those stories and more are ahead in this edition of CBN News Watch. We begin this half hour in Israel, where Israelis awoke to a new round of violence after Israeli airstrikes killed a senior leader of Islamic Jihad in Gaza. And a second airstrike was launched to kill another Islamic Jihad leader in Damascus. In response, Gaza terrorists from Gaza unleashed barrages of rockets on Israel early today. More than 150 rockets were launched, Israeli towns and cities, sending Israelis running for shelter. Israel responded to the rocket attacks by launching further airstrikes on terror targets in Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said his country launched the strikes against Islamic Jihad to save Israelis' lives. Our CBN News Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell joins us now by Skype. So, Chris, where are you and what's happening there? Well, Ephraim, right now I'm in Ashkelon. It's a town of about 138,000 people, Israelis. We're about five miles from the Israeli-Gaza border. We can hear some of the booms right now of uh, the Iron Dome intercepting some of the missiles that are coming into southern Israel. We drove down here just a little over an hour ago or a couple hours ago, and uh, Ephraim, the streets were pretty well deserted. Most of the businesses are closed. We saw one or two places that are open, but uh, basically these more than 150 rockets have uh, pretty well shut down southern Israel right now. Schools are closed. More than a million Israeli children are out of school right now. More, probably two or three million other Israelis are not going to work today because of these rocket attacks. Mm. So where do you see things going? Is Israel trying to avoid or keep this from escalating? Exactly. That's what the IDF chief of staff said. They don't want to escalate the situation. But uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, said there was a window of opportunity to target this Islamic Jihad leader who was really responsible for many of the attacks coming here against Israel. Uh, they called him a ticking time bomb. So they felt it was important to go ahead and take that opportunity. About 10 days ago, the Israeli security cabinet voted unanimously to go ahead and take the opportunity to do this. However, it's having said that, they really don't want an escalation. It remains to be seen what's going to happen right now. And I think it might be a lot up to Tehran because Islamic Jihad is an, is an Iranian proxy. They were getting their orders from uh, Damascus, and Damascus, I'm sure, was getting their orders from Tehran. So I think it really uh, is really up to the Iranian leaders whether they want this escalation to continue. So, Chris, how does this affect politics right now in Israel? Well, it's, it's a great question because right now Israeli Pre President Reuven Rivlin said call on Israelis to stand united for security and put politics aside. Uh, so right now, you know, they've been having weeks of, of sort of this uh, political paralysis. Neither blue and white party, Benny Gantz, or Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are uh, able to form a government. Uh, if this continues, if it escalates, uh, you really could see a possible unity government. And that would uh, send a signal that the security situation is quite dire. When Israelis form a un unity government, that means they all feel under threat and they all become united. So that could be a, a major factor in what's happening politically here in Israel, Ephraim. All right. Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell on the scene for us in Israel. Chris, thank you. I want to turn now to Capitol Hill, where the Democrats' impeachment investigation goes public this week. The first two witnesses are expected to testify before the House Intelligence Committee tomorrow, as congressional Republicans have prepared their own plan to defend the president. CBN News Capitol Hill correspondent Abigail Robertson shows us what we should expect now that the cameras will be rolling. The impeachment inquiry hits a critical juncture Wednesday as both sides hope the public testimonies help prove what they've been arguing behind closed doors. 
This is a very strong case of bribery. But Republicans maintain otherwise. We now know that the 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 aid was was held up, but it was also released without any conditions attached to it. First up to testify is former Ukraine diplomat William Taylor, who told investigators behind closed doors that he thought it was crazy to withhold security assistance for help with a political campaign. While House Democrats have other public testimony planned, Republicans made a splash with their own request, hoping to call Joe Biden's son Hunter and the anonymous whistleblower. If they don't call the whistleblower in the House, this thing is dead on arrival in the Senate. Others, like retiring Republican Will Hurd, want the whistleblower's identity protected. How we treat this whistleblower will impact whistleblowers in the future. Um, having this whistleblower law on the books um, is important. It's an important checks and balance, uh, not only in the intelligence committee, uh, but our government. But adds there is someone else so he'd like to hear from. What I do would like to see happen is for Adam Schiff, to Chairman Schiff, Chairman of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, to answer questions about what was his engagement with the whistleblower um, before or the information, his the whistleblower's allegations were transmitted um, to to the to Congress. Unless the whistleblower chooses to come forward, it is unlikely House Republicans will be able to force him to testify. With Democrat Chairman Adam Schiff saying doing so would put his personal safety at grave risk. Reporting from Capitol Hill, Abigail Robertson, CBN News. Abigail, thank you. The Supreme Court will finally hear the case in the battle over President Donald Trump's move to end the Obama-era immigration program known as DACA. It protects more than 700,000 young immigrants known as Dreamers from being deported. They were brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Under DACA, they can stay and work with a renewable two-year permit. The decision in the high court could be close, with the final vote possibly going to Chief Justice John Roberts. The court ruling is expected next year during the presidential election. A winter storm is barreling through the East Coast and Deep South today, with much of the area seeing lows in the 20s. Parts of Florida and the northern Gulf Coast will be hit with record lows Wednesday. The Arctic blast is bringing snow and freezing rain. Up to a half a foot of snow fell across the Chicago area Monday, turning into ice as the temperatures plunge with nightfall. There's still more than a month before the fall season even ends officially, but millions of residents are already feeling the powerful Arctic blast and asking, is it winter already? Came a little too soon. I don't have my scraper. I don't know where my boots are. When all is said and done, the National Weather Service says more than 400 cold records will be shattered by the end of the week. Coming up, a Christian camp in Ohio destroyed by fire over the weekend. No one was hurt, but the organization lost everything. We're going to hear from a pastor with the camp about what happened and how they plan to move forward when we come back. Too often, we carry baggage from our past. You know what it's like. It affects everything and everyone in our lives. It's always there, weighing us down and keeping us from achieving true happiness. But do you know God never meant for us to be trapped in the past? You can be free of your baggage. Learn how God's forgiveness leads to changed lives and new beginnings. Call the 700 Club. I'm Ephraim Graham, and this is Studio 5. Cruise with me as I discover the good things happening in the world of music, sports, television, and movies. The fact that Ryan Coogler was going to be directing the film, I knew that something special was going to happen. We'll chat with artists at the forefront of entertainment and explore the connection between popular culture and faith. I asked my pastor, I said, well, does that mean I'm supposed to be a preacher? He says, well, no, you already have a pulpit. Watch Studio 5, Wednesday night at 9.30. This is our nature as a country. 
to make the world a better place. Literally, we felt the earth shaking. The Christian Broadcasting Network presents to life how Israeli volunteers are changing the world. This film needs to be seen by everyone. I was in tears. Now you can own the inspiring documentary to life on DVD. There is blood on our hands if we know and we walk away. I'm so grateful that this film was made. To life can be yours for a gift of $10 or more. Call 1-800-700-7000 or log on to CBN.com. We know that every minute counts to save life. It'll uh, bless Israel, but it'll also bless all the friends of Israel. Discover the untold story of how Israeli volunteers are making the world a better place. Call 1-800-700-7000 or log on to CBN.com to get your copy today. Get the top political news and analysis from Washington on Faith Nation, tonight at 6 Eastern, only on the CBN News Channel. An early morning fire destroyed a Christian camp in Ohio. It happened Sunday at Skyview Ranch in Millersburg. The devastating fire spread throughout the dining hall, kitchen, and offices. The camp had just celebrated 50 years of service over the summer. No one was injured during the fire, but the organization lost everything. I heard the cells talk with Pastor Gary Adams about the camp and what happened and how they plan to move forward. So uh, our deepest condolences to you all. This is such an incredible loss for you and your staff. Uh, but as we reported, the good news is no one was injured, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, the fire was yesterday morning. Uh, we think it broke out around 430, 445, uh, and the 911 was called at 5 o'clock in the morning. But so no one was up there. Uh, praise God for that. So. All right. And what kind of uh, property loss are you, are you looking at? So I actually just got off the phone with our insurance agent. Uh, I had no idea. Uh, the building was not that old. It was only 16 years old. It was our dining hall, kitchen, and our office complex, all in one building. And it's a complete loss. Uh, he said the replacement on that is $1.9 million, uh, plus contents, uh, our insurance up to 300000 So. Uh, those were the, the rates that he was giving me, uh, the coverage. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at at this point. And I understand that uh, you have been hearing back from the community on this. Wh who are you hearing from today in the aftermath of all this? Uh, yeah, so I reached out to about a dozen different TV stations just to let people know so they could be praying for us. And if they'd like to support us at all financially, that would be wonderful. Um, but we've heard back through our uh, Facebook uh, link uh, through Skyview and just uh, all of our staff has been posting stories and pictures and, and out of that has come people out of the woodworks. It, it's been really tremendous for us. Um, I was reading through them last night. Uh, the fire was yesterday morning and I had about a 14 hour day and finally got a chance last night to sit down and uh, read, start reading through some of those and I got to one of the links that somebody posted that had, I don't know, five or 600 uh, comments and I had not had a chance to even go through those. but. Uh, the, other, the other sites, I read through them and I was just blown away and thought I was all teared out uh, yesterday. And my wife and I, she was reading me a story last night. Somebody else had posted and she was in tears. And it's just, we're just so grateful that the community uh, has stepped up uh, through their prayers and support. And uh, it, it's, been, it's been super cool. So um, really appreciative. That's encouraging. Uh, tell us about the work that you do at the camp. Who do you serve and how do you serve them? Uh, yes, yeah, so we're a year-round Christian camp. Uh, we only have a break for about six, seven, eight weeks, and that's actually coming up pretty quick here during the holidays, which is nice for our staff. Um, we serve about 9,000 guests a year here. It's a Christian camp and retreat center. Uh, my wife and I and family moved here from Idaho two years ago to, here to Ohio, uh, and uh, we love it. I'm the executive director. We have, uh, including the interns, about 15 people on staff. Uh, all of our families, someone and lives here on property, so we were all uh, woke up this yesterday. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a great ministry. This is a huge loss. This building was kind of our epicenter on property. Mm. Uh, we had uh, it was a dining hall, offices, kitchen, restrooms, and everything centered around there. We don't have a a, uh, uh, a chapel. We have a small chapel, seats about a hundred, 
120 people, but uh, this particular building would hold about 300, 325 people. So what does it so mean for your ministry, Pastor, going forward? What will you do? Yeah, so uh, um, it's a great question. We, It sounds like through our insurance company, we may be able to get some portables set up. Uh, we had an emergency board meeting yesterday afternoon at my house. And, um, and so it looks like we might be able to, through our insurance, get some temporary offices, temporary dining hall and kitchen possibly, so we can go forward. Uh, we're quiet until about the middle of January, and then we'll, we'll start running junior high and high school uh, winter retreats. And we'll run about 700 through here at that point. So uh, we're gonna spend the next uh, month or so just figuring out what to do and how to do it. And um, really appreciate you guys uh, airing this. Uh, we just are looking for uh, a lot of prayer. Still ahead, it is a bone-destroying disease that can wipe you out before it takes your life. We're going to tell you how one woman fought osteoporosis and won right after this. Stay with us. Life is better with a good night's sleep. Get your free DVD or booklet of Protect Your Sleep today. I'm Ephraim Graham, and this is Studio 5. Cruise with me as I discover the good things happening in the world of music, sports, television, and movies. The fact that Ryan Coogler was going to be directing the film, I knew that something special was going to happen. We'll chat with artists at the forefront of entertainment and explore the connection between popular culture and faith. I asked my pastor, I said, well, does that mean I'm supposed to be a preacher? He says, well, no, you already have a pulpit. Watch Studio 5, Wednesday night at 9.30. Remember for a moment what it was like to be a child. You believed every story you were told. You saw a world full of endless possibilities. What stories will the world's orphaned and at-risk children believe? We believe the Bible tells the only story truly worth believing. We believe that every child should have the opportunity to dream, the chance to take challenges and turn them into possibilities, the chance to stand on the promises of God, to recognize their place in the greatest story ever told. They have their whole lives ahead of them. Theirs is a world of endless possibilities. They are looking for a story to believe. We will tell them that story. Will you join us? Welcome back. We Weak, helpless, and stuck in bed, the bone-destroying disease, osteoporosis, can take your life long before you die, but you, but you can fight back. Lori Johnson shows us how to rebuild those brittle bones. These days, 48-year-old Mira Calton enjoys near-perfect health, a far cry from when severe pain kept her from even getting off the couch. I was literally bedridden. And I went to see the doctor, and at that point, he diagnosed me with advanced osteoporosis. He told me I had the bone density of an 80-year-old woman. He told me I'm not gonna get better, and that was just the way it was gonna be for the rest of my life. Osteoporosis literally means porous bones. That's bad. In fact, half of Americans over 50 either has osteoporosis or is at risk of getting it. Broken bones from osteoporosis account for more hospitalizations than breast cancer, heart disease, and diabetes combined. Refusing to accept her doctor's diagnosis of a life sentence, Mira decided to research the field's top doctors. That extensive work eventually led to not only a lifesaver, but also her future husband, Dr. Jason Calton. And what's really scary is that 50% of women and 25% of men will fracture because of osteoporosis. 24% of these men and women who fracture a, a hip literally die within the first 12 months of that fracture. Now we start to see osteoporosis for what it is. It's a deadly disease. Dr. Calton put Mira on a program to strengthen her bone density. 
After two years of working with him, I went back for a DEXA scan and I had reversed my osteoporosis. In their book, Rebuild Your Bones, the Caltons lay out the exact plan that worked so well for Mira. It starts with a diet rich in micronutrients, especially calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. You focus on vegetables, seeds, and fish, while avoiding the chemicals and sweeteners in processed foods. Sugar blocks your body's ability to absorb calcium and magnesium and reduces your vitamin D levels. We don't want that. We're trying to fight to get the micronutrients in. Sometimes even the healthiest diets don't do the job, and that's when supplements come into play. You just need to choose the right ones. They did a study where they went out and they got 49 different multivitamins right off the shelves. And these are major name brands. The scientists looked at them and determined that 51% of them, or more than half of them, didn't even disintegrate. So how can you get the benefits of the micronutrients in your supplements if you can't even get them, your body to absorb them? Even the vitamins our body absorbs might need to be taken at different times. So plan your doses. Good example calcium and magnesium. They actually compete. Yes, the calcium will get in, but the magnesium won't be able to. Also, vitamin D and vitamin K2. Oftentimes we see these supplements combined, but we don't want to take them together because they directly compete for absorption. After changing her diet and supplements, Mira looked for other ways to stop depending on chemicals, such as cleaning supplies and personal products. And some of these chemicals are so dangerous that even one of them, triclosan, is found in antibacterial soaps. And also your toothpaste and shampoo, you have to be careful, increases your chances of getting osteoporosis by 50%, one single ingredient. Next came focusing on her sleep. That's because people who don't get enough quality rest face a 270% greater risk of developing osteoporosis. Lack of sleep affects the so-called hunger hormones, ghrelin and leptin. An increase in hunger typically leads to choosing comfort food, which is often low in bone-building micronutrients. Make sure you just go into your room and start slowly shutting everything down. Get off of the computer earlier. Turn the television down earlier. And pay attention to your sleep habits. Too little sleep increases our stress hormone, cortisol, which can block the body's ability to absorb calcium, leading to bone loss. In fact, some diseases that increase cortisol levels, such as Cushing's syndrome, carry increased osteoporosis risk. The CDC reports 9 out of 10 older Americans have used a prescription drug within the last month. While they can be life-saving, these and over-the-counter medications can deplete the vital micronutrients our bones need. Some of these drugs include corticosteroids used to treat allergies, asthma, and inflammation, antidepressants, and long-term use of antacids. Dr. Calton recommends ways to reduce what he calls our toxic load. That's his term for the enemies our body fights instead of using strength to fortify our bones. One way to reduce that load is by using a HEPA air filter to clean the air we breathe. Certain water filters can take away lead, copper, and mercury coming out of the faucet. These heavy metals slowly deteriorate and rob the body of the micronutrients that it could be using to, to keep your bones strong. Look for water filters that remove 99% of contaminants and can back up their claims. So while we don't plan to fall, eventually we do. When that happens, strong bones allow us to get up and keep going. Lori Johnson, CBN News. Now, for more on how you can rebuild your bones and fight the dangers of osteoporosis, you can see Lori's in-depth interview with Jason and Mira Calton. That is tonight at 9.30 on Healthy Living. And, of course, you can find that on the CBN News Channel. Coming up, an unexpected dividend from musical megastar Kanye West's very public conversion to Christianity as free Bibles are given away around the world. We've got that story when we come back. Region's first ROTC graduate student.
Meet the pastors who are preaching the gospel in a fresh, fearless way. I'm Roberto Torres Cedillo. Join me each week for Next Gen Voices. And watch God transform a generation. How would you like to get a redo on your health, on your body, on your arteries, so you could have the energy you had 20 years ago? The great news is you can. I'm Dr. Mike Roizen, chair of the Wellness Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. I've written four New York Times bestsellers. But even better than having to read all that, you can listen to this DVD and watch it. Protect your heart? Yes, you can. Here's how. Go to CBN.com or call 1-800-700-7000 for your free copy of Protect Your Heart. Let the medical experts show you their new discoveries on how to avoid heart disease and even reverse it. Easy steps to uncover the hidden dangers in your medicine cabinet, reduce stress, and get a complete do-over for your health. Call 1-800-700-7000. That's 1-800-700-7000. Or go to CBN.com to claim your free copy of Protect Your Heart. Prophecy thousands of years old. We were called to be a light to the world. Being fulfilled today. Discover how. Get to life. Call 1-800-700-7000. We consider it our duty to reach out and help others around the world. For a gift of $10 or more, you can own the acclaimed CBN documentary to life. Just call 1-800-700-7000 or log on to CBN.com. To treat a human, no matter what he is, which religious he have, which color he is, this is what I'm doing. See how the people of Israel are fulfilling prophecy. History is being written, and I want to be a part of it. By sharing their knowledge. In Africa, in Asia, in South America, in East Europe. And their love. This is how we work. This is us. Get to life. Call 1-800-700-7000 or log on to CBN.com. Check out the CBN News Daily Rundown podcast each weekday with me, Caitlin Burke. Click on the show tab at CBNNews.com where you can listen and subscribe. The American Bible Society has given away 6,000 Bibles around the world to Kanye West fans in less than two weeks, all for free. This comes after the megastar released his new album, Jesus is King. The Society saw a large spike in Google searches like, what does Kanye believe? And it promised to send a free Bible to any curious Kanye fan. At first, the offer was for 1,000 Bibles until October 30th, but the demand has been so strong, the Society has now extended that offer until November 22nd. Time now for your Tuesday Tweetable, and I pray that this thought will bless you and you will bless others in posting, tagging, tweeting, and sharing it with them. Remember, God is calling us all to a life of purpose, and the size, scope, and reach of that purpose is so much bigger than we can imagine. With that word, get out and make this a terrific Tuesday. It is a great day to be a blessing to somebody else. That will do it for this edition of CBN News Watch. Remember, you can always find more of our CBN News programs on the CBN News channel at any time or online at CBNNews.com. We'd love to know what you think about the stories you've seen here today. Feel free to email us the address, newswatch at CBN.com. And you can reach out and touch us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll see you right back here next time. Goodbye and God bless.